Hello and welcome back. It's puzzle time with Sudoku Sleuth. And today we are going to take a look at no quads. Or I should say no quads here. That's the full title of the puzzle. And you can see that we've got Sleuth breaking the, role, the rules here on a quad bike and being chased for all intents and purposes what looks like a mummy shouting no quads with a gun pointed at him. Um, I don't know about you, but if I'm being, you know, if mummies are being used for law enforcement, I'm absolutely certain we're all going to be obeying the law. Who wants to be chased by one? Enough of that. Let's take a look at the actual puzzle. We have No Quads here by Skoyo and Sudoku Kuan. Now, as I understood it, when Skoyo published this particular puzzle, um, he talked about the fact that they actually, he constructed it during a live of some sort, presumably related to Sudoku Khan. Um, not too sure what all of that is about, but I'll make sure that I add a bit more detail in the description myself so that you have a bit more insight about what's going on. I'm sure that many of you have seen it on the application itself, that it does advertise this upcoming um, conference about Sudoku in the future. So it absolutely could be related to that, and it could have been that there was a live event of streaming of some sort to advertise it all. Right, let's take a look at what we have in store for this puzzle. We've got the following set of rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so that means place the digits once to, 1 to 9 once in each and every, every row, every column, and every 3x3 three three box. Fairly standard sets of rules. Next, we have German whispers. So digits along a green line must have a difference of at least five with any neighbor all along the line. So for example, if I put a seven in here, I'm actually going to use these for now. These two digits alongside it would have to be five or more away. And if you do the math, you find that only the digits one or two could be either side of the seven. But the other thing to observe about German whispers is that essentially you're bouncing between different polarities. As in, it's either a low digit, one, two, three, or four, or a high digit, six, seven, eight, or nine. And then back again to low, back again to high, if that line had continued. Notice in my list, I did not include the digit five, because I think you will see very quickly if you try this, how would you be able to place a digit that is five or more away from the digits 1 to 9. We also have Remban lines, so digits along a pink line must form a consecutive set of digits in any order. I mean, that's a very tempting line, but let me take a smaller one, this three cell line. If, for example, this has the digits 2, these two cells have to be on aggregate consecutive across the entire line. So a valid fill could be 1 and 3, as in 1, 2, 3. Another valid fill would be two, three, four. That would be also entirely appropriate. Note that it doesn't have to be consecutive. I could have a two, then a three, then a four. As long as the entire line is consecutive, aggregate, then you're going to be just fine. We also have, yep, yeah, that's the last rule. We've got XVs. Digits separated by an X must sum to 10. So if I place my favorite digit here, 2, then this would have to be an 8 because this x is forcing it to be a sum of 10. The v, which this 2 is also seeing, has to sum up to 5. So these two cells would have to sum up to 5. If that's a 2, that would be 3. And this would be a totally valid fill of these x's and v's. So if you are, uh, well, not scared of deserts, quad bikes, mummies chasing you. Link will be in the description down below as usual for you to play along. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. So I did say this Remban line caught my attention. And I think one of the reasons, aside from that, the fact that it's seven cells long, I also know one piece of information about it is that I have both one, two, sorry, one, four, and two, three on it. So if you think about the digit five and you try and get to it in two cells, there's only two ways of doing it. It's one, four, or two, three as a pair. 
The fact that I have all of these on the Remban tells me that this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Remban line with two digits outside it that are not on the Remban line and they can only be 8 and 9. I'm getting already, I'm starting immediately to color this puzzle because you can see that there is so much of this puzzle that's about low digits, as in 1, 2, 3, or 4, and high digits, as in 6, 7, 8, or 9. You're going to find that very helpful for the German whispers, for the X's and V's, I suspect for the Remban lines. No, I suspect, I know. For example, I've placed all four low digits. This cannot be a low digit. This has to be a high digit. And this therefore has to be low. This has to be high. And these two, one of them, and I don't know which one it is just yet, is a five, which I'm going to give it a gray color. And the other cell is a high digit. So these three cells are essentially five, six, or seven. And these are one, two, three, four. This is six or seven. This is three or four. You can see we've kind of completed most of box six here. We've got three low digits. Remember what I said about the fact that it oscillates. These two are going to be the same color. And this one will be different. I've got three blues. I can only afford one more, one more low digit. Therefore, this is the low digit. These are the high digits. That's a five. That's a digit in minute two. Not sure I can take this much further just yet, but I can probably take a look at column two now. And if I'm honest, I may, I maybe should have started with column two. Um, but let's just quickly work our way to column two, do some obvious things like this is low because it's a V and these are oscillating because it's a German whisper line. Now, take a look at column two. Where would you put a five? It's not on a German whisper line. It's not on a German whisper line. It's not a German whisper line. That's the five. And there is, that opens up a whole bunch of things that we can do, such as, let's do the first one that might not intuitively come along. All of these are now low. And if you think about it, you know, what I could have done is I could have had eight, seven, six, and five, but I've already placed the five. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. They're all high digits. These are all low digits. Therefore, this is high. This is low because it's the other side of the X and this is high this is low what I also know about column two the other thing to sort of think about is I've already placed one high digit and I am left with seven cells three of them the ones are in the middle have to be the high digits now I have four low digits to place, and that's column two already fully colored. Kind of half tempted now to actually think around, can I color the whole lot? Very tempting. Let's see how far we can push it. Um, I'll, do, I'll place one more digit before I continue on that mission. Actually, too distracted there. I'll just color obvious things. Where is six in column two? Now, I've deliberately used the digit six because I can't place them in any one of these three. If I try, it would require me to put the digit one on both sides of it because that's the only digit that is five or more away. So this is not the six. This is the only place the six can be and the only adjacent digit that can be next to the six on a German whisper is a one. I mean, just paying attention now, these are X's. And they couldn't have been six, but they also cannot be sevens, because a seven needs a three across an X. And we also know that the three is only four away from the seven. So these cannot be three sevens. That's not a seven. That's not a three seven. That's the seven. That's the three across from the X. That's therefore one and two, one and two, eight and nine, eight and nine. 
and these are three fours. So essentially what we have is either a nine, one with a four, or an eight, two with a three. Whatever cell this is, that's the second one of them. And then the third one is somewhere up here. I don't know if I'm going to color them. I'll just keep a mental note of that for a second and see what else I can do. Such as this Renban line here. And why am I thinking about the Renban line? It's almost like thinking back to what we saw on row 9. Either this is all the same color and there are no fives, or they have to have a five. And if you take a look at the fact that we've got three blues, we already know this cannot be all blue. That would be six blues, no fives in the box, not enough reds. It's just ridiculous. The other thing that's also ridiculous is having all of these as reds. That's still five reds. So the only way this Remban line works is if there is a five on there. And because it's three cells and I've already put one, two, and three, I know I need to have a six on here as well. So the options I have for this Remban line is either four, five, six, or five, six, seven. And that's not a five. Seven, because I already, I don't know why I just pencil mark that, because it's already placed in box four. That's not a seven. That's four, five, six. That's another eight, nine. Eight, nine lining up. These are not eight, nines. That's another eight, nine. These are six, sevens. Which, if we think about for a second, this is either an eight, because it's six, seven, eight, or a five, because it's five, six, seven. And I can't tell which one it is just yet. One and three, that's a two, four. There's a one in here for sure. Could we do something similar? Yeah, I, yes, we can. Yes, we can. And I should finish that thought before I say yes, we can. Essentially, we've got a five in this Remban line, so there is no five in here. If there is no five in there, we know that these have to be the same color. And it's either blue which on the outset, it seems like it's possible in box one, but it really isn't. Because now look at column one. I've got one blue, two blue, three blues, because one of these is a four. Four blues, five blues are broken the puzzle. So this is red. And it's from seven, eight, and nine, because the six is already placed. The only digit that can actually join them is the eight which means that's a nine, that's an eight, that's a nine. Yeah, that's a nine because I've already said the eight must be in here. That's seven, eight. Uh, that resolves a whole bunch of things for me now. That's the four, that's the one, that's the three, that's the two, that's the eight, that's the nine. Fabulous. Um, one, two, three, that's blue. And then I'm left with... two, three, or five. I'm just going to corner the fives for now and just see what else I can spot. Maybe I should just sort of kind of vocalize what I'm thinking. I'm sort of looking around thinking what other kind of clues I've not used across the grid. For example, I've not really thought about this Remban line in the same way that I have about these. And I'm kind of tempted to do that. This X in the middle is, you know, drawing me in. But I'm kind of thinking the easier one is probably the Remban line. And it's almost exactly the same question. 
can this not include a 5? And the answer is no. Can't be all red, because that would be 6 reds in column 9. Can't be all blue, because that would be 5 blues in column 9. There is a 5. And because there is a 5, that's not a 5. That's the 5. What else? And therefore, this is another 6 or 7. The fact that this is a Remban line rather than a German whisper is quite frustrating in a way because I, I don't really have that many restrictions about what these can be other than the fact that this is not 3, 7. This is 4, 6. Um, I'm sure none of you were shouting this out for a while. Absolutely certain of it. So take a look at this three. That's not in here. So one of these is a three. Therefore, one of these is a two. The fact that I have a four in here means that one of these is a one. And one of these is a four. That's a one, three pair. That's a two. This is frustrating because it means I can have any of seven, eight or nine on here. That's not a 1, though, because I've got a 9 and a 1. Sleuth. Sleuth. Pay attention, sleuth. Right, and that's an 8-9 pair. Actually, I do know what they are because of this 9. Well, and that 8 as well. That's an 8. That's a 9. What else do I know? So that's 6 or 7, meaning this is 1 or 2. But it's, I've already placed a 2. That's definitely a 1. Take a look at where the 1 is in here. That's the 1. That's a 2 or 3. It's not a 3. That's a 2. That's a 3. That's a 2, 5. I know where the 2 is. That's the 2. That's a 5. That's not a 5. That's a 4. That's a 3. That's still too many options. Do I even want to bother pencil marking this? Probably not. Four and six, looking at this, four, five, six, that's a five. That's not a five. I'm going to have to figure out which is low or high, and I'm imagining it's going to have to do with this X, which I'll take a look at momentarily. But I'm much more tempted for the moment to think about column nine. See what else I can get out of it. So this could be 3, 4, 5, and then that would be another 6, 7. Possible. This could be 5, 6, 7. No, it can't be 5, 6, 7, excuse me, because that would require two reds. Right, so there's definitely a 4 on here. And then the question is whether it's 3, 4, 5, or 4, 5, 6. I don't know how to answer that question. I've got one of each in here. There's a one red, one blue. And then this is sort of the balance of it. So it's not that helpful. And I don't really know what this is. I, uh, yeah, no, I was going to say, I, I mean, there's definitely a four already. I think it's the tricky part is the three and the sixes. I don't have enough information to place it just yet in either location. So I will, I shall move on, I think. Well, I mean, that 8 is looking at a 5 in here. can put that one for free. Well, not free. I've worked quite hard for it, but... Right. On to this box. So, in the middle is 189. What does that tell me? What it tells me is... Whatever this digit is... Even if, it, if it's a 1, these are clearly going to be the same polarity, 2, 3. 
Even if this is 8, that's still 7, 6. I'm not going to be able to make these a different color. So I'm going to go for green, orange. I can place the 5 in here. That's the 5. And then the question I need to answer is what these are. So I have notice one of each color, which includes one of them being a six. And I don't know which one it is. So it's either a six, seven, eight run or six, one and whatever this is. But this is not the six because then I would have to put on different polarities two and four. So that's the four. That's the six. And then I have two and six in here. And then three, four, seven. And that's brilliant. Now, why is that brilliant? Um, this can't be, I mean, this is low. Because one of these is the seven. We've got two different polarities. So one of these is the seven. And the other one is a three, four. Which means that's not a seven. That's low. And now I've placed two, you know, four low digits in column five, meaning green has to be high, orange has to be low. And therefore, this is not a seven. This is a three, four pair. This is the seven. This is actually, I can place this. This is an eight. This is a six because it was an Oremban. And the fact that I had a six on here means that wasn't going to be the nine. This is now a one nine pair. That's a two. This can't be the four next to an eight on a German whispers line. That's the three. That's the four. That's now a two three pair. And these twos give me the order. That's a one. That's a nine. Like as always, Scoyo, phenomenal puzzles and construction. Just absolutely phenomenal. These two cells are six and seven. And why is that helpful? Because I was struggling to figure out what this is. That's not six or seven anymore. I've just placed two six sevens in the row and I've got nine and eight. That's not a high digit. It's not a five. That's a low digit. One, two and four are looking at it. That's a three, that's four, five, six. That helps me resolve ages ago. The seven in here, because you know, I placed a six like, you know, probably 15 minutes ago or something. Never mind. Four, five, six in here. That's not a four, that's not a five, that's not a six. What else do we know? We know that there is one high digit, two sorry, three high digits, a fourth one is not here. This is a low digit, and it's not one, two, or four. That's a three, that's one, eight, or nine, with a definite one on here. I'm kind of surprised I haven't actually resolved the eight nines. One and two means this is seven, eight, or nine. This is another four, five pair. How have I not resolved these? Yeah, I have seven looking at an eight, looking at a seven, looking at a seven. Okay, I say I thought I resolved. Actually, that's not an eight. That's one or nine now. That's not a nine, that's one or eight. Okay, come back to it. In here, we need a two and a nine. Nine, it's not going to be there. That's a nine, that's a two. That's not one nine, that's a one, that's an eight. 
that's a low digit, which is not two or three, and it can't be four next to an eight, that's another one, which resolves the nine one pair in here. Four, six, seven, that's another four, six, can't be a seven, therefore this is the seven. I think I'm sometimes just missing out on things because I'm just not spotting all the colors that I should be doing. Um, I need a four in here. I need six, seven, and eight. And this is a low digit and it is a two. We know that. What am I missing? Let's think about this column. So we need another four, six, and another eight, nine. Not helpful. Like, not helpful in the slightest, really. In this column, I need another four, five, and a seven, which can only be in here because of this seven and that seven. Actually, excuse me, I haven't placed anything in here. That's seven or eight. So I have another four, five, and another seven or eight. Rubbish. Six, seven pair. What do we need in here? Four and eight. Am I just like missing something very obvious? Chances are often like a nine looking at an eight, a six that I need to place, a seven that is placed. Yeah, that is often what happens. The seven that gives me the six here. Well, that seven that gave me the six here ages ago. The seven, the six. So yeah, I am missing obvious things. Uh, this is four, five, or eight. It is in fact not four, not eight. It is in fact a five. Four, five, six, four, six, eight, four, Excuse me, I made a mistake somewhere, such as that was a four, <laughs> that was the eight, that was eight or nine, it is a nine, that's the eight, that's the nine, and if I've not made any mistakes, which is entirely possible, that's the seven and the solution to today's puzzle. Beautiful puzzle, Scorio, as usual. I mean, I'm kind of thinking about the break-in. So I went for this with the eight nines. I mean, I could have gone the other way. So I don't think there's anything there I could have done necessarily differently. Or more efficiently, I should say. Um, the other thing there, I guess, yeah, spotting these tens earlier could have helped. Spotting the Sudoku could have helped. I'm not sure. I think it kind of, there, there was probably no other path to this other than the Remban, the German whispers, the tens, the Rembans constantly thinking about whether they're the same color or not. And then coming back to the X's, I guess, to resolve it all. So that was going pretty smoothly, I think, until that point where I just was struck by Sudoku blindness. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's puzzle and today's video, and I'll see you back for the next one. Bye for now.